Hello Gearspace, I'm Morpheus Moraitis. I'm from Dreadbox, I'm a software and hardware developer. And here we're for at Superbooth 2021 presenting Nymphus. So Nymphus basically it's a six voice analog synthesizer, which has a, a one oscillator, sub and noise. You have a low pass filter at 24 dBs, resonant one, and a high pass filter at 6 dBs. You have two envelopes, uh, one for the filters, one for the VCA, and then you have uh, one LFO, which is basically six LFOs, one for each voice, the same goes also for the envelopes, and then you have a global LFO, the LFO2, which basically can access every parameter. In general, the whole workflow of Nymphus goes like you have the primary values here, the primary yeah, parameters to control, which basically are the ones written below. And then you have the secondary parameters, which are the shift parameters, which are the ones underlined. To access those, you have the shift button over here, which you can either momentarily press and change the value, or you can double click to lock, and then you have all the values right away to control. Uh, Nymphus comes with uh, 49 presets, uh, 49 user, and basically 49 factory presets. For the preset control, you have to press the load button, then you have seven presets right away with your rotary encoder, and then you have the shift button to change the banks. So for example, if I want to, to load a bank B preset five, then I have to go here, change the bank, and then go to number five and press load to confirm. So right now we can hear that. Nymphs in general has the basic menu, which basically you have to access it through the menu button. So this one gives you access, again with the rotary encoder, you have seven different menus. The first menu is the mode menu. The mode menu to enter, you have seven specified uh, settings, so you have to press again, so it flashes to inform you that on the second layer of the menu. From here you have seven different uh, settings to get. So we have six play modes and the chord, which basically an editor, and we will see about that in a minute. So poly mode is a standard six voice mode. So you have to access like that and press confirm. Then you have the uni A, which is basically six voice unison. You have the uni B, which is four voices, so a little bit thinner sound. Then we have the, the tree, which basically gives you access to play three notes with two oscillators each one. And then the duo that follows the same uh, architecture, which is basically two notes with three oscillators each one. And then the classic mono is just one oscillator. The chord function is a nice feature, which basically you can go inside and then press and you can hear the chords. From here you can edit your chords and write your own. We have seven different user chords, and basically you can write them by pressing just a new note on your keyboard. And then this chord is saved, so you can go here and back again, you can hear it. So also this feature is a nice feature, so you can play it like a standalone synth with just navigating through the different chords saved, which basically are saved also per preset. So 49 presets, so there you go. Other than that, the menu gives you access to the other parameters, the other settings, sorry, which basically you have the LFO2. So for the LFO2, so, so we can make it more clear, let's load an initial patch. So here we have the initial patch, it's classic six voice. So from here, for example, let's say we want to put some LFO2 on the cutoff. So over here, we go to the menu, go to number two, which is the LFO menu, and then we have right away, go to the cutoff and put as much amount of, cutoff, of LFO we need to the modulation. The same goes also for a wave or whatever parameter we want. So basically you can have LFO2 going to every parameter written in the front of the panel. The same also works with the reverb, so the menu gives you access to the reverb, so you can just slide from LFO2 to the reverb, and now you have the reverb control, which is over here. And
So basically the reverb is an algorithm written by us. It's close to what, it's the same architecture that uh, Nix used to have. So the difference here is that you have a mixture of delay and the reverb, which basically we can hear by closing down the DK. You can hear that. We can hear some, some tails going on in the back. So it's something in between, which can sound very lush. Under that, you have the module, the velocity, and after that, which basically you go right away to the menu and you have all the parameters right away with the amount you want to have the modulation going to. So for example, if I want the module to go to the LFO one rate, I'm just doing that. So right now I have module going to the LFO rate. So we can see that by, sorry, I just want to close the LFO two. So now from the main page, I'm adding LFO one to the low pass filter. Right away the and have right away the modulation going there. So that's the whole workflow and how it works. Other than that, we can hear like some presets to have a nice sound about it. That's all from Nymphus. I think we had a nice introduction about it. And great to meet with you. And have a nice one. Yeah.